Our first joke of the day is about a lady that was getting married for the fourth time. The local news station was interviewing an 80-year-old lady because she had just gotten married for the fourth time. The interviewer asked what her new husband's occupation was. He's a funeral director, she answered. Interesting, the newsman thought. He asked her if she wouldn't mind telling him about her first three husbands and what they did for a living. After a short period, a smile came to her face and she answered, explaining that she first married a banker when she was in her 20s, circus ringmaster in her 40s, preacher in her 60s, and now funeral director in her 80s. The interviewer, quite astonished, asked why she married four men with such diverse careers. She smiled. I married one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. <laughs> Our second joke of the day is about a classroom and some large expectations. The grade eight teacher asked the class, what part of the body enlarges 10 times its normal size when it gets stimulated? Mary stands up and says, Teacher, you are not allowed to ask that type of question. I will tell my parents, and they will have you fired. The teacher ignores her and asks the question again. Mary says to the kids around her, If she will not listen, she will be in a lot of trouble. The teacher, still ignoring her, asks the same question again to the class. Johnny hesitantly stands up and says, It's the pupil of the eye, teacher. Very good, Johnny she says while turning to Marie before she goes on. And you, young lady, I've got three things to tell you. Firstly, you have a dirty mind. Secondly, you did not do your homework. And thirdly, one day you will be very, very disappointed. <laughs> Our third joke of the day is about an old couple and a diner. The husband said to his wife, do you remember 50 years ago we made love behind the diner? Yes, I remember it well. The husband then said, how about taking a stroll there again and we do it for old time's sake? The wife said, you old devil, that sounds like a great idea. A police officer overheard the conversation, had a chuckle and decided to go and see this. The elderly couple battling to walk finally got to the back of the diner. Once there, they erupted into the most furious lovemaking the officer could imagine. After a while, the elderly couple fell to the ground in exhaustion. The officer went to them and asked what their secret was for having that much passion. Shaking and barely able to reply, the old man says, 50 years ago, there was no electric fence here. <laughs> Our fourth joke of the day is about a nun that visits a bar. This nun was in town and desperately needed to use a bathroom. The first place she could find was this bar. The place was very alive. When she got to the bar, all the bar's lights went off and everyone cheered. The lights then came on again. Not knowing bar culture, she made nothing of this. She asked the barman if she could use the ladies. Sure, he said but I must warn you there is a statue of a naked man with a leaf over his private parts, in the ladies. No problem, said the nun. I will look the other way. So, the barman pointed her to the restroom. On getting out of the restroom, everyone cheered her, and the barman said, here's a drink. You are now one of us. What's this all about, she asked. The barman said, Every time someone lifts the leave of the statue, the bar's lights go off. <laughs> Our fifth joke of the day is about a young couple that died and went to heaven. One morning, this young couple, deeply in love, were on their way to church to get married. On the way there, the man lost control of the car and slammed into a tree, killing them both instantly. The couple soon found themselves standing in front of the gates of heaven. The young women asked the angel if they could get married in heaven since their time on earth was cut so short. The angel replied that he will get back to her on her request. A month later, the angel brought them good news. They can get married. The women then asked the angel, just wondering if things don't work out. Will we be able to get a divorce here in heaven? 
With a stern look in his eye, the angel said, Look, lady, it took me a month to find a priest up here. Do you really think I'm going to be able to find a lawyer? <laughs> Our sixth joke of the day is a joke about a restaurant and eating a steak. John went to a fancy steakhouse restaurant. As he sat down, the waiter immediately brought steak to his table. Very impressive, John said. As the waiter was about to walk away, John calls him over and said, I can't eat this steak, and pointed at his plate. No problem, sir. I will take this steak back and bring you a new one immediately. After a while, the waiter came out with a new steak and puts it in front of John. Just as the waiter was about to leave, John calls the waiter back again and says, I can't eat this steak, and points at his plate. Without saying a word, the waiter grabs the plate and heads to the kitchen. Moments later, the chef storms out of the kitchen doors straight to John. Why can't you eat the steak? John replies, because I don't have a knife or fork. <laughs> Our seventh joke of the day is about an old farmer and a lesbian. An old farmer sat down at the bar and ordered a drink. As he sat sipping his drink, a young woman sat down. She turned to the farmer and asked, are you a real farmer? Yes, I am. I've spent my whole life breaking colts, milking cows and planting crops. So I guess I am a real farmer. What are you? I'm a lesbian. As soon as I get up in the morning, I think about women. When I shower, when I watch TV. I even think about women when I eat. It seems that everything makes me think of women. The two sat sipping their drinks in silence. Once the woman finished her drink, she left. A little while later, a man sat down on the other side of the old man and asked, Are you a real farmer? He replied, Well, I always thought I was, but I just found out I'm a lesbian. <laughs> In our eight joke of the day, these three friends go hunting. Three friends decide to go hunting. The one is a lawyer, the second a doctor, and the third a priest. While walking through the bush, they saw a bald goat. All three of them eagerly shoots the bald goat. The bald goat immediately fell to the ground, and the three friends run over. When they get there, they see the bald goat is dead, but there is just one bullet hole. Whose shot killed the bald goat is the question. A debate follows between the friends till the owner of the game farm arrived. The owner experienced in the field of hunting says he can resolve this issue between the friends. He investigates the dead bald goat and announces it is the priest who shot the bald goat. All three friends are dumbstruck and wants to know how the owner knew the priest killed the bald goat. Well, it's actually quite easy, says the owner. Look here. The bullet went into one ear and out the other. <laughs> In our ninth joke of the day, this wife is having an affair. A man suspects his wife of having an affair. He returns home a day earlier from his holiday with the late night flight and gets a taxi to take him home. When they got to the house, he asked the taxi driver if he will come in with him. If he catches his wife cheating, he has a witness who can testify of her affair. So, they silently went into the house and up the stairs to the bedroom. He pulls the sheets off and puts the light on. There, his wife is laying in bed with another man. He pulls out his gun and points it at the man while the wife is begging him not to shoot. I lied to you, I did not win the lotto. He was the one paying for the holidays, the fancy cars, and this big house. Shocked, the man lowers his pistol and asks the taxi driver what he would do. The taxi driver said, I will cover him up nice and warm so he does not get sick. In our 10th joke of the day, this old lady wants to meet an old gentleman. Getting older is not for sissies. The body gives in, then the mind gives in. Funny how old people can remember vividly what they did as a child, but they can't remember where they have put their dentures. But that's the process of aging for you. So, this old lady went to a bar to see if she could win the company of an older gentleman. This might just rekindle her youth and keep her going for another decade or so and give her someone to share her memories with. She went to sit down at the bar when an old handsome looking gentleman walked into the bar and sat down next to her. Here was the opportunity she was hoping for. 
She turned to look at this gentleman, and then he said, So, do I come here often? <laughs> Our 11th joke of the day is about applying for old age pension. An old retired man was standing in a long queue waiting to apply for old age pension. But when it was his turn, he realized he forgot his ID book at home. So, the lady behind the counter feels sorry for the old man and says he must unbutton his shirt. The lady behind the counter then looks at the old man's gray chest hair attentively. She tells the old man, you can close your shirt now, I can see clearly that you are old enough. So, she stamps the form and approve his old age pension. When the old man got home, he tells his wife what happened at the social security offices. The wife listened to her husband and started scolding her husband. You had a golden opportunity. If you had unbuttoned your pants, you could also qualify for disability. <laughs> In our 12th joke of the day, this young girl asks her father about evolution. Evolution? Oh yes. Imagine life's a giant costume party, millions of years long. Everyone starts with a bedsheet toga. Over time, the party host, nature, throws random costume accessories. Some get lucky with wings, birds. Some get stuck with a giant schnoz, elephants. If your costume helps you to snack and avoid getting eaten, you get to stay. Everyone keeps tweaking their look, generation after generation, until BAM! You're rocking a smartphone and wondering why your tailbone itches. That's evolution, baby. So, this little girl came and sat on her dad's lap. Dad, she said. Today in school, the teacher spoke about evolution. She said that all of us humans came from apes. Is that so? The dad, not knowing anything about these things, said, I just don't know mommy's family that well. In our 13th joke of the day, little Johnny just can't stop lying. Johnny loves to exaggerate. Monday morning, he came to school and tells his teacher he went fishing. We caught 50 fish, and the one fish was almost 60 pounds. Really, Johnny? That's a lot off fish? The teacher knows Johnny by now and decides to play along diplomatically to see if she can teach him not to tell lies. Well, Johnny, you won't believe me, but something terrible happened to me this weekend. Me and my kids took a short way through the field when all off a sudden a lion attacked us. But a small Jack Russell dog came running through the bush and defended us. He lifted the lion in his mouth and shook it so hard that you can hear the lion's neck break. Do you believe what I am telling you, Johnny? Yes, of course. That Jack Russell was my dog. He can easily kill a lion because... He once killed an elephant. <laughs> In this last joke of the day, we let the genie out of the lamp. A sales representative, administrative clerk, and the manager walked to a restaurant for lunch. On the way, they saw this old antique shop and decided to pop in and have a look. They see this old antique lamp and rub it. Suddenly, a genie appeared. Thanks, I am free. Out of gratitude, I grant each one of you a wish. The sale representative went first. I want to go on a yacht cruise through the Bahamas. Poof, and he's gone. The administrative clerk then said, I want to go to Hawaii and lay on the beach drinking endless pina colada with my dream man massaging me. Poof, she's also gone. The genie turns to the manager and says, It's your turn now. What is your wish? The manager, a dutiful person who takes his work serious, says without hesitation, I want those two back at the office after lunch. <laughs> <laughs>